Hello everyone, this will be the dedicated video where I talk about the leaderboard tool that I've put together that anybody can use to check if you've won gala from a competition, see how much gala you've won in total, see what ranking you ended up at in that competition, give you an estimate of the potential rate you did for that meta and any NFT you may have won from that competition. This is using the official information that Gala Games provides us in the Townstar leaderboard sheet, which gets updated just about every week. Usually it gets updated on Monday from what I can see, which is usually the same day they also re reward the gala and nft payouts if there is an nft to pay out for that event so as of recording this video we are currently doing the smoked salmon meta which is what i have running here as you can see this is my smoked salmon competition build but i'm not here to show you that i'm here to show you the actual leaderboard tool so this is available for everyone. It's basically done. I don't expect to add any additional things to this, but it's always possible that something else gets added to this in the future. So I will have the link to this in the description. It is dub.community slash TS dash leaderboards. And that will take you to this site, which just so happens to say competition rankings, but it is a leaderboard tool, whatever you want to call it, either competition ranking lookup or leaderboards so when you first get on here depending on the size of your screen it's either going to look like this where you can see the my rankings tracker on the left side and the search competition section on the right side if your screen is too small it's going to show it as a stacked layout so the my rankings tracker will be on the top and then you have to scroll down to see the search competitions section but i'm going to keep it full screen size right here so the only setting that you can mess with up top here in the header is the theme so the default theme is a dark theme there are seven different themes if you prefer lighter colors we have the light theme we have colorful themes here as you can see and if you prefer the dark there's an even darker theme called the midnight theme but for the sake of this video I'll just leave it at the dark theme which is the default so let me explain the search competitions this will show the most recent meta that's been added to this tool and that was last week's competition as of creating this video which was the dry rub competition that happened on September 16th 2025 and ended September 19th 2025 if you don't think this tool is up to date you will have to do a hard refresh to see if there's an update available which it explains it right here if you're on windows you either hold it down control and shift and then click R that'll do a hard refresh or if you're on Mac then it's command shift and then click are all at the same time that'll reload the page do a hard catch clear and if there's an update then it'll update it and you'll be able to see this change with the most recent meta updates for competition so long as the details have been provided as in they are available gala has provided them to us to view so i'm going to search competitions here starting with the most recent one i suppose which was dry rub so i can type in dry rub right here i can select it from this list and i'll be able to see the top 1200 ranking players so i can see right here i am right here 10th place so yes i did get 10th place on the dry rub competition so you can see the total score that the player had and also an estimate on the potential rate so this won't be exactly what you were making for example on the dry rub competition i was making up to 118 per hour but of course it took me like an hour to finish the build and it just so happens that i missed the last three hours of this competition so i didn't get any stars for the last three hours so that's why it's saying my potential rate was 110 per hour and you also got to keep in mind that you are going to be selling excess products which do help with the points so that's why uh, that's another reason why the potential rate might be wrong so this is just an estimate to give you an idea that's all it's meant to do so that's the potential rate explained and that of course uses the star boosted item now for some events that have multiple star boosted 
boosted items. I will explain that in a moment. But right here, you can see little arrow indicators. You can see some green arrows pointing up, some red arrows pointing down. And if you hover over them, you will see a little tool tip. Unfortunately, it's not going to show it on the video. But if I'm hovering over the red arrow pointing down right here, it's saying performed worse than previous 12 competition average, eight rank average. So this will tell you if the player performed better or worse than their 12 week average. Since I have been averaging rank eight in the past 12 weeks and I got 10th place on this one, it says I'm performing worse on this competition. And of course, all the green arrows pointing up, it's saying, for example, for LV Postman right here, performed better than previous 12 competition average, 13 rank average, and they got ninth place on the dry rub, so they are performing better. So that's the explanation of these little arrow indicators. Next to them is a bar, and as you can see, most of them are blue, some of them are green. So this is like a quick activity indicator to tell you how active that name has been, how many competitions they've won. So if I hover over the blue bar next to my name, it says total competitions all time 118. That means as far as this leaderboard goes, because it only goes up to a certain point, I've done 118 competitions. And up to this competition, it also says I've done 118. Now, if I was looking at a competition that happened like a year ago, it would say that I've done 118 competitions all time but I've only done like up to 60 and they're looking at it from that event so that's what that means unfortunately I just can't show you what the tooltips are saying but you'll be able to see this for yourself when you're using the tools so the blue bars will indicate that name has been in use for at least 52 competitions and they've won those 52 competitions a green bar indicates that it's been in use between 27 and 51 competitions I believe. A yellow bar would indicate that it's been used between 13 and 26 competitions. Orange bar is between like 4 and 12 competitions and the red bar is like it's a brand new name. It might have only been in use for like 1, 2, or 3 competitions. And like I said, just a quick indicator to see how active a player has been. So if I scroll all the way down I will more than likely find newer names as you can see right here with the red bars it's mostly a black bar because it's pretty much empty and these are all new names which could indicate that they're new players it could also indicate that a player changed their name and they're just starting to use a brand new name so now it's going to show a red bar because it thinks it's a brand new player so it's not a perfect system but it's just a quick indicator of how active that player has been that's why at the very top you will more than likely find a lot of blue or green bars bars unless of course somebody recently changed their username so that's pretty much the explanation for the search competitions tool right here you can also filter by name so if you wanted to see every player with dub in their name you could type dub and it will pull up every single player with dub in their name or you can just find a very specific player as you can see right here and of course we can just look at another competition so for this next example let's look at garage sale which is kind of like an Anything Goes meta. It's uh, the new version of the Anything Goes meta. So for Garage Sale, we had three different items star boosted. I believe it was Supply Box, Vanilla Scented Candle, and Mead. And of those three items, most people ended up doing Supply Box. So I ended up just putting Supply Box as the main item here for the potential rate. So it's taking into account the star boosted rate for Supply Box. I understand not everybody was doing Supply Box. But yeah, for events like this where there's multiple star boosted items, it's just going to take into account one of those items and it'll be the item that you see here on the image. So for this one, I was actually doing vanilla scented candle. I was doing around 700 and something, but the potential rate says 787 per hour because that would have been the rates uh, if you converted the stars from the vanilla scented candle to the supply box. Hopefully this explanation isn't overly complicated. And now if I wanted to see anything goes, there's a bunch of anything goes competitions as you can see uh, so that's why we have the dates on here to make it easier to see now i think there was only one event that was a guild competition on here that happened in 2024 so for this specific example 
you will be also be able to see the list of guilds just by clicking the guilds button right here or if you wanted to see the individual players then you could still see that right here so that's the only exception for the guild competition at the moment i believe that's the full explanation on how this search competition section works now i'm going to move over to explain the my rankings tracker so for this you would want to type in your username to see your overall stats like the amount of competitions you've won the amount of gala that you've won i understand that most players or a lot of players at least change their names so they had like maybe two three five or ten different usernames across the time they've been playing townstar so this does support that it does support a way where you can add multiple names now for me i actually never changed my name so it's just dubstep rod so i would just type that in and as soon as i finish typing it in I can see all of my stats at least for the competition data that's been provided here up to this point I've participated in 118 competitions which means I've won top 1200 in them I've at least won some gala of those competitions my best rank was fifth place I got this twice and the most recent one that I got fifth place on was barbecue wood which was two weeks ago as of recording this video. My average rank in the last three months which is the last 12 competitions has been rank 8 and my average rank in the last year has been rank 12. The total gala I've earned from all of this except for the guild competition that is not going to be shown here but the total gala that I've earned from this data right here is just a little over a million gala at a million. 90,250 gala and then competition history right here I can scroll down see everything the rank that I got on each one the potential rate for that competition the amount of gala that I've earned a few of these have like a double gala reward so that is taken into account and if there was an nft reward then I can see the nft reward right here if I wanted to see the name of the nft I just hover over it and it does show a tooltip so this one shows platinum hasty Mexican restaurant and that's essentially how this works now i haven't missed a single competition since all of this data here this data goes as far back as the shrimp pizza competition from may mayhem of 2023 which this one in particular started may 9th 2023 so any data before that has not been provided i reached out to gala support but i really don't think they have the data before this anyways so this is as far as it goes i've been playing since late 2023 2021 so there are other competitions that i did even before this point but this is just all the information that is here now if you think you miss events uh, you can click on show missed events and you'd also be able to see those uh, to easily find which ones that you've missed i haven't missed any so it's not going to show that and also if i wanted to find a specific event i can either search up the name or the date uh, so if i wanted to find well garage sales right here right but i could type in garage sale and boom there there we go or anything goes there's the anything goes competitions and i should mention for the anything goes competitions the potential rate is taking into account the standard value of the stack box for all of these right here so the potential rate probably won't really help you uh, if you're trying to figure out what rate you did on those just to let you know so that's how that works now like i said if you have multiple names you can click on the plus sign right here to add a name and you can add a name now if you're trying to add uh conflicting names such as if i try to add uh let's see lolo kobo's name right here just for the example it's going to bring up an error saying name conflict multiple names found in the same competition please refine your name list that's because it thinks you made an error and it's fetching two different results for the same competition so it's not going to allow that you need to make sure that you actually put the proper names that you've used for the different competitions and you can add up to 20 different names on here if you happen to change your name more than 20 times for some reason then sorry you can only add 20 names on here don't know anybody who's changed their name that often but yes that's how the my 
rankings tracker works. Now I am going to provide an example of how to easily figure out the name changes if you don't remember them. And I'll also explain what the track other players button does. Right here, track other players, you'll be able to make different lists if you want to quickly save the name sets of other players to see how they're doing, I suppose. Maybe they're your friend, maybe they're a guild member and you wanna see how they're doing. Maybe they're an enemy, I don't know. But you can create a list here to see how they're doing. So whenever I live streamed and explained this, I did uh, have Herp's permission. Hopefully he's okay with me still using him as an example here. So I do have a, a list here named Herp's that if I wanted to load, I could load it up and it'll show all that information. Now for the sake of this example, I'm just gonna generate a new list called Herp's version two, V2, you know, just for the example, I'm going to create new list. And there we go. I've switched over to Herp's version two right here. I can also change the names of any of these, but you know, I still have mine that says my names. I think that's the default. So I'm going to exit out of this. Uh, it's going to be blank now, but I am going to add Herp's, which I can also uh, filter by name on the competition just to make sure I have it typed correctly. Yeah. So it's Herp's with the dub tag. So right here, it pulled up some information, but that's not all of it because he did use different names. So I'm going to click on show missed events and I'm going to scroll down until I find an event that was missed. Well, I do know that he didn't actually participate in the risotto event. So if I was to try to find uh, his name on the risotto event, I wouldn't find it. And uh, coincidentally, I don't think he participated in the strawberry ice cream cone event either. But I do know that he did participate in the vanilla ice cream cone. So I'm just going to copy the name of that. Go to search competition, search that competition. And I'm going to type in Herps because it's probably a similar name. And here it is. So it's Herps with dub, but the brackets in between them. So at some point, Gala Games forcefully took off the brackets from your name. So you may have unintentionally had a name change. So just watch out for that. This may have happened to you if you're trying to find uh, different names. So now I've added this name in. It brought in more competition data. I'm going to click show missed events again. Scroll down. So we're skipping risotto and strawberry ice cream cone because I know he didn't do those. Uh, I checked those on stream. I couldn't find his name and he confirmed it anyways. So I scroll all the way down. There's a few competitions still missing here. So I'm going to check Salmon and Nigiri to see if he had a different name on this one. Search competitions, Salmon Nigiri. And I'll try searching Herps again. And there we go. Now it's just Herps with no dub tag. And we add the name and there we go. I found all his different names. Now I've brought up all his information here. I can just double check, click show missed events, scroll all the way down. And yeah, it goes all the way down to Shrimp Pizza, which is, you know, all the data that's provided here. So I found all his names. So that's the best way to find your names if you don't remember them or if you're trying to find the names that another player used, for example. So yeah, you can have like maybe a hundred different lists of names here. I don't know why you would have that many. But like I said, this is useful if you're just trying to see how your guild members happen to be doing or if you have a couple of friends that play this and you just also want to track them. And if I want to go back to my names, I'll just click load my names and there we go. And uh, if I want to delete the one I just made, I would just click the delete icon. It'll pull up a little notification up here. I just click OK and boom, it's been deleted that easy. And I believe that's everything you can do on this leaderboards tool. I don't think it's that complicated and it is very useful to figure out how you ranked in the competitions very quickly at a glance because I easily forget how I did in the competitions or even what my rate was. Now, of course, I usually just search up on YouTube, search up my competition stream to see what my rate was, but uh, not everybody can do that. And it's also interesting to see how much gala that you've earned, you know, since May Mayhem of 2023. Uh, most people realize that, wow, I've spent that much gala because I don't have it anymore. And yeah, that's probably true. Uh, most people have probably spent their gala, but at least this gives you all the information here. Uh, like I said, this is available for everyone. And like I said, this gets updated every week once we have the official information for the event that just ended. Well, that's the entire explanation for the leaderboard tool. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you find it helpful. If you did, leave a like, leave a comment, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. And if you want to help support the channel, you can find links in the description on how to do so. As always, I appreciate your support and thank you for watching.